In this video, I will teach the steps to solve simultaneous linear equations. This time, we will use elimination method. Step 1. Multiply one or both equations by a suitable number so that both equations have same leading coefficient. Step 2. Subtract or add equation. If both coefficients have same sign, we need to subtract. So here you should remember triple S, same sign subtract. If both coefficients have different sign, we need to add. Step 3. Solve the equation. Step 4. Substitute the answer in step 3 into the, the original equation to get the answer of the second variable. Step 5. Write the answer in the form of x and y or in the coordinate forms. And lastly, you may check the answer by using calculator. Now we see the example to solve the following simultaneous linear equations by using elimination method. Example number one. So to solve the elimination method, what should you understand is we make the coefficient for one of the variable equal so if you see in this example you see that the coefficient for q already the same which is 3 so what should we do right now you just need to remember this thing which is triple s 3 s the meaning of 3s is same sign subtract so as what you see here the, the operation in front of 3 is positive so what should you do to eliminate Q is we need to subtract because at what, what I said before same sign subtract so now we solve negative 8p minus 2p become negative 10p 3q minus 3q become 0 so need, no don't need to write 24 minus 9 become 15 okay now we solve this equation so if you want to get p only left hand side we divide by negative 10 right hand side also divide with negative 10 we simplify this one negative 10 divided by negative 10 become 1 15 divided by 10 become 3 over 2 so the answer p equal to okay, remember, you see here we have negative so negative 3 over 2 or maybe you can also write as negative 1.5 okay next we want to find the value for q so to find the value for q you can substitute the value for p into any equation let's say right now i want to choose the first equation so i write negative 
8p plus 3q equal to 24 okay next we know that p equal to negative 3 over 2 so just substitute negative 8 bracket negative 3 over 2 plus 3q equal to 24 negative 8 multiply by negative 3 over 2 become positive 12 12 plus 3q equal to 24 ok next we move 12 to the right hand side so 3q equal to 24 minus 12 ok next solve this equation we got Three Q equal to twelve. So divide by three, divide by three for both side. Three divided by three become one. Twelve divided by three become four over one or four. So the answer. Q equal to for lastly we write the answer like this P equal to negative 3 over 2 Q equal to 4 example 2 if you see this example 5F and negative f negative 4g and 2g all of the coefficient don't are not the same so what should we do is we make either coefficient for f or coefficient for g become equal so let's say right now i want to change the coefficient for g means that I want to change the second equa equation 2g become 4g so what we can do here we need to multiply everything in equation number 2 with 2 so now we got negative 2f plus 2f plus 4g equal to negative 4 and we write the first equation below this e equation 5f minus 4g equal to 4 that's what I see in the first example you need to understand that 3s the 3s same sign subtract but if you notice here in front of coefficient for g the sign is different so when the sign is different we need to add both equation now negative 2 plus 5 become 3f 4 plus negative 4 0 negative 4 plus 4 also become 0 so the answer f equal to 0
okay next find the value for g let's say i want to choose the first equation here so 5 multiply by 0 minus 4g equal to 4 negative 4g equal to 4 so we divide with negative 4 on at both sides become 1 4 divided by 4 become 1 so the answer g equal to negative 1 lastly write the answer f equal to 0 g equal to negative 1 next example so for this example we can change the first equation we see that the second the coefficient for second for x for the second equation is four so we can multiply the first equation by four everything we need to multiply by four so now what we got 4x plus 8y equal to 12. Rewrite the second equation. 4x minus 3y equal to 23. So as you can see here, the coefficient for x already the same and remember same sign subtract so we have the same sign positive and positive we need to subtract 4 minus 4 0 8 minus negative 3 so negative negative become positive means that 8 plus 3 come 11 y 12 minus 23 become negative 11 so to get, to get the value for y divide by 11 what? at both sides 11 divided by 11 1 11 divided by 11 1 so y equal to negative 1 now we find the value for x so i use the first equation x plus 2y equal to 3 y equal to negative 1 so x plus 2 bracket negative 1 equal to 3 x minus 2 equal to 3 x equal to negative 3 plus 2 the answer equal to negative 5 hence x equal to negative 5 y equal to negative 1 Okay, last, I give you these two exercises. Try it on your own and check whether you got or not this, the answer as what I show here.